Hello everyone, welcome back to my NASSEC YouTube channel. This is Johnny, a network and a security guy. In my previous video, I showed you how to use ARIA2 and Acron Docker to create your own download inside and uh, sync or download the file to your cloud drives. I was using cloud area ng for that lab you might wondering can we deploy our own area ng so in this video i'm going to show you a way to use github pages to deploy area ng for yourself and we even can use our own custom domain to complete it as i show you here this is area ng github page so we're gonna use the release from this GitHub repository to complete this setup. Now, let's start it. As usual, I put all steps, commands, related resources into my blog post. Take a look. Um, we do have a couple different ways to do that. You can use Docker, you can deploy HTTPS, HTTP, and uh, with your custom domain, you can use Cloudflare using HTTPS, and also you can use your, your own server to do that. So I'm still writing the documents for this one, but um, for the GitHub part, you can find it from this video description for this URL. And you can take this as your reference when you creating your own area ng github pages first thing we need to create your own github repository so if you go to your repository you can create a new one so to make it simple i'm gonna name it as area ng if you haven't used this name before, it should be good to go. You can put some description here, then create a repository. It's pretty simple thing to do. After that, we're gonna uploading our GitHub release from originally the author's repository. We cannot download the release. So if you look at the area ng wind repository, then you will see that the release. Click on it, the latest one. There's all in one zip. So we cannot download it. It's 500 KB. So there's one file you may need it. It's index.html. Unzip this file and then upload it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna upload in an existing file. We're gonna choose our file, index.html, open, upload to it. Commit changes. Now, the most important part has been done. You just need to set up the page for the URL. You go to the settings for your repository and go to the pages and choose the main branch and save for it. Wait a couple of minutes, you will get the URL for your list GitHub pages. If you don't want to wait, refresh it a couple of times, then you should be able to get the URL for that. You can browse it away and then come back to check it again. Now you get the page. So you can visit the website. It's connecting. Since by default, they are gonna put the, the domain URL as your RPC address. You can change it, but don't forget that by default, HTTPS is enabled for your GitHub pages. If you're using github.io, the subdomain for it, there's no way you can change it to HTTP so if your area 2 settings not supporting HTTPS yet, then you will have a problem to connect to it. 
but we will have a way to change it if using a custom domain. So that's what we're going to do in this lab for the next step. To set up custom domain, of course, you need to have a domain and uh, you need to manage it from your provider. I'm using Cloudflare. I have 51sec1.eu.org, this domain. So I'm going to use it for testing. So before we can add our domain in here, there's one specific step we need to do is we're going to verify domain. You go to your top right icon and go to settings. In the pages, you need to have a verified domain here. So I'm going to add it in. So let's on my domain. So then we need to create a TXT record and then we can verify it. So that's pretty simple as well. Just add a record. If you don't have a domain, then you can watch my list video to find out how to get the domain. You will find the two videos to show you how to get the free domain as I have here, eu.org. So we're going to paste the content name save verify it's verified once you add the record now we can go back to our repository so this is our repository page and we can add a custom domain. So we will do area ng dot fifty one sec one dot eu dot org. That will be our domain. Save for it. So we are doing a DNS checking process. Um, you may need to check the document how to verify or manage a custom domain for it basically you need to add this as a c name and the target will be 51 sec github.io you can enable proxy or you don't have to enable, that's your choice. I just use DNSN only. So check again. Right away, you see the site URL is changed. Let's go to open. So right now we are using HTTP and from uh, RPC settings, it's HTTP, and we are using our own domain for it. So it's pretty simple and easy way to deploy your own area ng in the cloud. That's all for this video. Hope you got some useful information from this video. Hope you like it. Give me a thumb up if you do, and subscribe this channel to support me. Thank you for watching. See you in next episode.